My secretary and I, Maya, who's sitting up here in the box, who's been with me for 25 years, I can't shake her. As much magic as I try, <laughs> she just keeps showing up. I couldn't do it without her. And we were leaving for a talk in um, Chicago, I believe it was, from Florida. And we had uh, seven boxes of books to take with us on the plane. This was in the days when you could take what you wanted on a plane. <laughs> And we were scheduled out on one airline that I was a platinum something or other on. And um, we found out that the flight was canceled. And they had already checked the boxes in. And then um, well, they sent us to another airline at the other end of the terminal. So we wheel up there. We go up there with the seven boxes. And she's up there. And this woman's got a scowl on her face at this new airline. And almost as if she was saying, you won't be getting these boxes on this plane. And she was determined that that was when, not receptive to this idea whatsoever. Now, my way I handle these kinds of things in my life is by every time, if I meet a surly waitress or a surly waiter, or if I meet someone who, when I'm checking into a hotel, is giving me a hard time, to me, this is just a wonderful opportunity to practice the power of intention. Can I be receptive to this person and have them eating out of my hand in no time at all? And it isn't by being phony or artificial. It's by trusting that if, I, if I'm receptive to this person, if I'm sending love to this person, if I'm sending kindness, if I am being what my source is, if I am in harmony, in rapport with source energy, then I can create an ally. So my secretary was about to, you know, and I just said, Maya, don't say a word. And I went up to the woman and I just started talking to her and I, before she, because I knew, I could just tell by her body language that she was about to tell me, you're only going to be able to take two boxes with you for each person and you're going to have to leave three here. But that just wasn't on my agenda whatsoever. <laughs> and I reached into my briefcase and I took out a book and I signed it. I said, you know, I'd really like you to have this. I, I appreciate you putting us on your flight. Uh, and I started talking to her in this really kind kind of way and I said it's just you know we just missed this other flight I've got to give a talk up here in Chicago and I <clears throat> extended as much kindness as I possibly could I was totally receptive and open to her and by the time this encounter ended she was asking don't you have any more boxes isn't there something else <laughs> that you'd like to ship Do you want to ship one of your kids we can and upgraded us to first class, gave us everything that we could possibly have wanted, and it was all because of being receptive to her, having this, this space of receptivity. When you have receptivity, when you are practicing infinite patience, when you are being the kind of person you wish to attract, you have to want it more for others than you do for yourself. You have to see yourself already as connected to the right person. See yourself from the end. And see yourself as having all of the right people showing up. Act as if they're already here. Because that's what the source is. And they are already here. I'm telling you, when I'm writing and I'm in the space that I'm defining here right now and speaking about right here, when I'm in this space, I want to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that everybody shows up that I need. And it almost gets to a point where um, I get befuddled by it, how beautiful and blissfully it works. I'm even befuddled by, what, by you all showing up. We just put a little notice out there and said, come to Boston. Please come to Boston. Isn't that a song? <laughs> and you all did, thousands of you. Look at you, all over the place, this beautiful place, and these lobbies, and going all the way up into... There's people up there, a th you're a thousand miles away. It's a, you're all here. <laughs> And when I'm writing, I'll, my eyes will glance on a book that's been on the bookshelf for 20 years and I haven't looked at, and I'll walk past it and it'll fall. <laughs> what is that? And I'll pick it up, and it's exactly what I needed. The phone will ring, and the right, exact right person will show up. When you're in this place of being receptive, kind, loving, beauty, abundance, when you're in this place, the universe conspires with you to create the right people, the right things, it all shows up. It's not your ego. I don't do it. It's called surrender. It's called, in the recovery movement, we call this letting go and letting God. Just letting go. You have a senior partner, if you knew, who walked beside you at all times on this path that you've chosen, you could never have another doubt that this would work. And I'm telling you, you tuned in today, 
on this PBS show to listen to somebody who has believed, not only do I believe in this and write about it, speak about it, I live it every day of my life. It always works.